All right, YouTube. So today's video is very different, uh, and I am making this video to actually show each and every one of you uh, something that uh, I had a big pet peeve with, with with Canon when they first introduced the EOS R7 camera. So um, what is it that I'm talking about? Um, the lack of a battery grip uh, on this camera. Uh, I really honestly thought I would be able to go without it for, for you know for for an extended period of time. Um, honestly, I would rather not. Um, the reason why is because I'm starting to use uh, pretty heavy lenses and. Even with the black mamba grip on the bottom of this thing, um, yes, it gave me a little bit more um, space, um, but it wasn't enough to keep it from swaying forward, similar to the issue that I have with, with Sony cameras without uh, the battery grip. Um, so what I did is um, I went on a frenzy, um, and you guys know I have a lot of Canon stuff sitting around. Um, and I started to look through every single battery grip that I've had uh, in the last 35 years uh, to see what this camera is molded from and to. Um, and what that means is uh, which, which body comes closest to this. And this is, uh, again, it's not scientific, it's close, it works. It is not a perfect solution, but it's a solution that works for me. If you are on the fence about buying an R7 just because it doesn't have a battery grip and you don't have the additional you know, space to hold, this might actually change your mind into pulling the trigger into buying one of these. Um, so no, it's not a third party option. Uh, it's an option I'll give you from a Canon, Canon battery grip on how to actually get it to work on this uh, and do the job for what I do. Now, if, if you're trying to do the same thing, I think uh, we'll end up uh, in the same spot. So how do you go from this to something like that is what we're gonna talk about in this video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and then let's go ahead and flip the camera downwards so I can actually show you sort of what you need to do to make this work and how it actually works onto the camera and then we'll attach it on and, and show you uh, the beauty of um, sort of what I came up with. So uh, I'll continue to talk, but uh, you know, uh, let's go ahead and actually flick, uh, flip the camera angle and go from there. Sounds good? All right, hang on. All right, now back at the work desk. Uh, and uh, so what I referred to earlier is uh, the black mamba cage. When you put the black mamba cage on this, you can see what it does. It does give you this additional area to hold like that. And this is again, my hand. So this is how it works on my hand. Um, so you can you know, sort of see what works for you. This is great when I'm filming video and things like that, but for long lenses, like especially, you know, the 600 and the 400 and those kind of things, or even the 100 to 400 for a long time holding, I need a little bit more down here to, to do that comfortably. Um, and it's really a shame because I'm gonna put this aside. Canon, when they built this, um, this tape is here for, for a purpose and I'm gonna explain that in a second. When they built this camera, they uh, purposefully obviously did not build the notch uh, for a, um, a battery grip to go into and notch and hold on this side. Uh, obviously you have uh, the tripod screw here. Um, and then the battery drawer. Typically you would have the battery door removed and then take out the battery and then something like this would go inside the battery compartment. Um, so with that, what it does is we leave this the way it is in its native way without damaging the camera in any which way and on with this actual solution on, on what, I'm, what I'm going to show you how to do. So I'm gonna put the camera aside for a second and let's talk through sort of what you need to make this happen um, with an official uh, Canon battery grip. All right, so based on a lot of time spent, I found out that Canon is, Canon has pretty much molded the, the R7 um, from a very, very popular series of cameras, the 30D, the 40D, the 50D, very similar camera. So this is the battery, battery grip that actually works for that. It's the BGE2. 
you can pick one up for probably $10 to about $20, $25 on eBay. And this is an official Canon battery grip. I have done some work to it, obviously. Um, so when the battery grip initially shows up, it shows up. I'm gonna put this like down here so you can see something like this, right? Um, obviously these wires, everything is inside. It comes like that, right? So when it first comes, it, it shows up like that. Um, so you would remove um, the first one, two, three, four, and five screws right there. This piece will come off, remove the ribbon cable. You're gonna have to make a decision. If you're not gonna reuse this, you probably don't have a 30D and things like that. Uh, and if you don't, just go ahead and take these off of the solder points, which are under this. Take off this screw here. You can remove this if you wanted it to remove this wire which goes here and then the ribbon cable goes inside this piece right here so you can just remove that out just pull it out i just put the screws back in here um, and i am working on um, either a a kind of a tape or or something here to just cover this part don't have to it doesn't hurt the camera in any way but there is one piece to this puzzle that you need to do which is this little piece that sticks out usually similar to this where it locks into the body so it keeps the grip from moving. This one here, you're going to have to either cut off or shave down. I actually shaved it down some, um, so it can actually lay flat against the body because the R7 has no hole there to be able to do that and it has no electrical contacts. This solution is not gonna give you additional battery power. However, it will give you the comfort of a grip underneath this body so once this is done the reason why i put these two here because there is nothing here that's going to keep it on on this side right over here you're going to lock in to your tripod screw here but there's nothing on this side keeping it from swaying this way because there's no locking mechanism because there's nothing going inside this battery door so you're leaving this original if you just put some double-sided tape and not take the the, the, um, the protective covering off here to expose the, the glue on this side, you'll be fine. It's just a little bit of padding. And watch, once I put this on, you will see it's not 100% perfect, but guess what? Once you lock down, bam, you have an R7 with an official BGE2 battery grip and look at this, look at this, look how smooth this is, like literally to the T. It's like almost like made for it. You can see how similar the mold of that body of that, of that camera was, very close. It's a shame that Canon never made something like this. Oh buddy, sorry about that. I, <laughs> I moved the entire um, camera there, sorry about that. Um, it's a shame Canon never made this or anything like this um, for the R7. And if they do, I'm pretty sure they'll sell it like crazy. So in here would go two of the BP511 batteries. Um, it's nothing in there, just hollow. But now it allows me to do this on my R7. So I have the latest and greatest in technology up here um, with the comfort and the grip here. I'm not so worried about the battery anyway because the battery on the R7 does last a while. So it takes just, you know, two seconds literally to do this. Um, and then pop this out and everything else is in its original format. So if you ever wanted to sell the R7 um, down the line and not damage the camera in any way, this solution works perfectly. So you go like that, lock it into position close to there, line up the front and then tighten down and then you're good to go. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I don't see too many people out there that are spending the time into giving you solutions like this. So I would really encourage you to actually, you know, like, subscribe and stay subscribed to the channel. There's a lot of neat things like this coming your way um, because I am going to probably uh, start doing a, a little bit more about, you know, the things that you want to see. So with this, here's a solution literally to go from literally that to that and then it also looks good lines up beautifully you can see it's perfect i mean it's like it was made for it i can't even tell it feels perfect in the hands and it's rounded with edges and no sharp edges 
just fantastic. So give it a go. BGE2 is what you need. Get a nice one. You can, even if it doesn't work, doesn't matter. You can probably pick one up for five bucks on eBay. Um, I can see the price of this battery going up, especially after a video like this. Um, so go out there and get yours, get it converted as soon as you can without changing anything that, that's original factory from, from, from Canon on the R7 and you're able to enjoy a grip. And now you can actually literally take the heavier lenses and have a field day with this, um, you know, when you're out birding, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, the only thing is if you're shooting vertical, this particular button up here will not work. But honestly, I hope you're not buying this camera to do that because um, that's not what it's designed to do uh, with this grip. Now, if they made a custom grip that allowed you to do that, that'll be a different story. But this is more of a uh, homemade solution um, that's going to help you be able to actually get more out of a camera and actually make it a little bit more enjoyable to you. So with that, um, like I said, like, subscribe, be nice to each other, go out there, create your magic, and I'll talk to you in the next one. There you are. Thank you.